I love Angelina Jolie and I have to be honest, if it wasn't for my love of her films, I probably never would have even heard of Beyond Borders, less seen it. But I'm really glad that I did because it's very moving. I will say it's a very emotional film. Uh, it's quite graphic. It's rated 15, but it, there, there are some scenes that um, are quite shocking. Um, but also realistic. And that just makes it all the more harrowing. This one was released in 2003, directed by Martin Campbell and written by Caspian Treadwell Owen. Stars, of course, Angelina Jolie. Uh, alongside Clive Owen. The description from IMDb is one sentence and I'll read this. Um, it, it doesn't really sum it up very well to be perfectly honest so I'll talk a little bit around it without giving any spoilers. And this says the world's, cruelly, the world's cruelty is confronted with the love of two different people who try to save mankind from poverty and war. So we have our, our two protagonists Sarah and Nick played by Jolie and Owen respectively and they go over to one of the poorest, you know, poorest war-torn parts of Africa where they are there to provide relief and aid for those who are injured and suffering and the victims of this war. And straight away that gives us some pretty, pretty intense scenes. And obviously it's, it's fictional, but I perceive it to be quite realistic. And when you think of that happening, it's, it's tough to watch. And the, the scenes are... You know, the location's intense. According to IMDb, they actually did go to genuine uh, villages and things, and they actually provided running water for the um, you know the victims there, which was a great thing to do. So even if you don't like the film itself, it's great to know that during filming, they actually brought a lot of benefit to those um, in need when they were filming, which is which is great. I'm not sure what happened to the running water once they left, if they were able to sustain it or not. But, you know, for doing production, that, that's definitely worth praising. The narrative itself. I do not care about this romance between Nick and Sarah. I really don't care. I never thought, oh, I, w- I wonder if she'll... Bearing in mind that Sarah's married, uh, her husband is obviously back home in uh, London and she is still American in this. She's an American who lives in London and I never really cared. I, d- I never thought, well, will they get together, won't they? But she's married, what's she going to do? You know, they're in one of the worst war-torn situations ever. Should they just let love happen and celebrate that little bit of happiness? But I never, I never got that. I never really felt the need to wonder what would happen to their relationship and hope for one thing or another. I was really just concerned with, well, war-torn Africa and the state of everything and really just gasping at how powerful the imagery on screen was. It's, it's beautiful for all the right reasons. It, it shows us human suffering but also human compassion. And the way that people actually go out of their way, risking their lives when the relief workers are over there, you know, putting their own lives at risk to help people they've never met before, people they've never heard of before, just because it's a human, compassionate thing to do. And and that dichotomy of the passionate relief workers and the war-torn victims uh, who are, you know, suffering at the hands of evil... It's very powerful and I think the film portrays it very well and that's what I was interested in, that's what I cared about. It Obviously it needed to have a subplot. It couldn't just be about relief workers in Africa without anything else to it. So they brought in that romantic aspect to give it a subplot and to keep the story moving. I get that, but I just wasn't in, emotionally invested in it. it. I can take it or leave it, I'm not that bothered. But for me the film was good enough without that aspect and I thought it worked really well. If you haven't seen it... I thoroughly recommend it, but make sure you're in a mood, the mood for you know an emotional film because certainly it is one that you will probably at least well up at, if not cry at, because some of the, some of the scenes, particularly those involving children, are, are quite moving, very touching. Ultimately, I think it's a really good film. 6.5 out of 10 on IMDb, which I think is pretty respectable. Then a score of 32, which is a bit shameful. I think it definitely deserves higher than that. I like it. 
definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. Might be one of my favourite Jolie films.